People have used ornamentation to decorate objects for thousands of years, quite obviously taking inspiration from the forms they saw recurring regularly in nature. One of the most ancient and fascinating decorative elements is the spiral. This pattern also appears in nature, for example in snail shells. Spirals even feature in prehistoric cave paintings. Other decorative motifs were inspired by plants, such as lotus flowers and papyrus reeds in ancient Egypt, or the palmettes and acanthus leaves popular in ancient Greece. When repeated and arranged in rhythmical sequences, these motifs became ornamental bands. The Latin word ornare means not only to decorate, but to arrange. Arrangement in nature begins at the subatomic level. Mineral atoms, for instance, arrange themselves in regular geometrical patterns to form crystals. The principles of natural order can be expressed in numbers and mathematical formulas, a fact that the ancients were well aware of. The ancient Greek philosopher Plato recommended that the education of youths should include the study of... The beauty of geometric forms, which is based on proportion and a mathematical concept of the cosmos. One particularly fascinating example of the way mathematics, nature and aesthetics intersect is known as the golden ratio. This is when the relation between two quantities remains the same even as their absolute size decreases or increases. Perhaps the most famous example of this in nature is the spiral of a snail's shell. No wonder then that it inspired one of the oldest decorative motifs.